Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to day number three of the Highway to Heaven tournament. We've already had some crazy events happen in the first two, and now the first group for this race is ready to go. A Camaro, a Nerve Hammer, a Sinistra, and a Dodge. Now, I could be wrong, but it looked like the Sinistra might be another Star Wars vehicle based on the logo I saw on the side. And so far, we've had at least one Star Wars vehicle make an appearance every day in this tournament. First time it was a Millennium Falcon, and then last time it was a TIE Fighter. We got a vehicle spinning out of control here, and the Sinistra's trying to overtake them as a result, and they... It looks like they will? Yes. Yes, they will. Okay. So I got a little stunned there, because I wasn't sure what was going to happen with that nerve hammer. But the Sinistra does overtake them for a second place finish. Very respectable. Right now, though, going into heat number two, it's the Dodge that has five points. Are they going to try? Well, they're obviously going to try and go for the sweep. But the question ultimately is, are they going to be able to? So far, we haven't really seen anybody do that successfully in this tournament, as far as I remember. But so far, they are staying out in front again. If the Nerve Hammer can keep from spinning out of control, they might actually be able to take second place this time. But the Dodge is out in front, and the Nerve Hammer is wrestling with the other cars again. I think they still got second, though. The Sinistra did try to overtake them at the last second, but it didn't seem like they did. It's hard to tell. No, the Sinistra did not overtake them. The Nerve Hammer did finish in second that time. Let's see if they can improve even more in this next race. So it's looking pretty good for the Dodge so far. They have two wins to their name. If they can win one more, then they will guarantee their spot in the final round for today's races. Right now, the Nerve Hammer is actually staying close to them, but that wide turn once again kills their speed, and now the Sinistra is trying to overtake them again. Those two must have something going on between them because they are constantly going back and forth with each other. But the Sinistra did lose a bit of speed during that last turn, and they almost actually got last place, but they managed to stick their nose out in front to keep that from happening. They might want to work on that a little bit, while the Dodge ultimately will get the win. Let's see if they can get the sweep now. And now with two second place finishes under their belt, it is actually the Nerve Hammer that has a second place position, but the Sinister is right behind them by just one point, I believe. So whoever finishes in front of the other will likely be moving on unless we have a tiebreaker. Right now, it is the Dodge out in front. They're trying to get that sweep. The other two are once again clashing. I don't know what they have going on between them, but it is not pretty. Meanwhile, the Dodge actually finishes under 13 seconds. With a 12.91, I believe that's the fastest time we've had so far. I was fully expecting somebody to break that 13 second mark, and they did it! Meanwhile, the Dodge and the Nerve Hammer move on, and here's our second group. It's a Phaeton, a Mercedes, a Firebird, and surprisingly, Superman's here again. I don't know what he's doing racing a second time in this tournament, when he already has one of the spots in the roster for the final round of the tournament overall. I guess they allowed it though, because he's here, and once again, he's proving that he's faster than a speeding bullet, and he's way ahead of the other three racers. My ultimate question is, what? And he breaks the record! It was a 12.91 a second ago, now it's a 12.90. I don't know what's going to happen if he ends up moving on alongside the other race car that he already drove. And both cars have to be on the track at the same time. I'm not sure how that's going to work if that ultimately happens. But we'll, we'll have to see, I guess. But Superman does finish in first again. Let's see if he can move on once more. Going into race number two, these other three racers definitely had their work cut out for them. If Superman keeps racing the way he has been. Not just in this race, but in the other races he already had where he was able to lock in the first spot in the roster for the final round of the tournament overall. 
Yeah, so far, no one has been able to get anywhere near him. But one thing we certainly saw in the last tournament is that he can be a bit show-offish at times, which could be his ultimate downfall. Because people were able to overtake him when that happened. So if that happens again, he could be in trouble. Let's see what the time was here. Definitely a little bit slower with a 13.39. But he already holds the record for the fastest time so far. So long as he's playing by the rules, if he's using his superpowers at all, he will be disqualified. Approaching our third race, it's the it's Superman and the Firebird that have the best odds. The Mercedes could do something. Phaeton, I'm not really entirely sure on. But hey, maybe they'll pull off a surprise that we don't see coming. I mean, that's what makes it a surprise, so, yeah. Anyway, Superman is once again out in front. The Firebird is staying consistent in second. But if they don't do something soon, they might be in trouble later. As I say that, though, Superman did go sideways, and the Firebird did try to overtake them. Ultimately could not do it, but that just shows that anything can happen at any time. The Mercedes did finish in third again. With a Phaeton coming into the back in fourth place. So it doesn't look like they'll be moving on. Now Superman is already guaranteed to once again appear in the finals. The Firebird does have the best odds, especially with what we've seen so far. The Mercedes could pull off a miracle here if he's really pushing for it. But we'll have to see what happens with him and the Firebird. Right now, Superman is just trying to get the sweep since he was unable to do that last time. And it looks like he will at this rate unless he tries to showboat again. Which he kind of did in that last race, and at this point he's going backwards. He just really likes to show how fast he is. And even going backwards he almost broke the 13 second mark. And it looks like one of our racers didn't actually finish. Not sure where they are, though. Let's see if the camera can find them. They're kind of scanning that last part of the track, but we don't see them so far. And we're panning over to this part of the track. Did they get stuck on that turn? Yes, they did. One racer already had that happen in the last day's race. And the Phaeton couldn't even finish all four times. Bad enough that they finish and last all the other times, but not a good way that they wanted to end, I'm sure. But Superman and Firebird are moving on to the finals, so here we go. So this is quite the interesting setup. Superman and the Dodge both have a partial sweep going into these finals. So I'm sure it's going to be interesting to see both of them trying to get the complete sweep in the finals here. Ultimately, though, only one of them will be able to do that. And if one of them finishes in first all four times, that can happen. But these two are certainly neck and neck right now. So if anybody can beat the Superman vehicle, it could very well be the Dodge. Right now, Superman is just blocking everybody from passing him. Which I guess is a smart move. But you don't want to try that every time, otherwise they might see it coming. And they might spin you around as they pass you. So hopefully Superman keeps that in mind if he wants to keep the chances of a complete sweep going. Here we go for heat number two now. And it's Superman now that has the only chance to get a complete sweep here. If he does win, then we'll have two Superman vehicles in the finals. I'm not quite sure how that'll work. Maybe it'll be two different Supermen from different universes. But we'll have to get to that point first. And Superman does show off a little bit. The Dodge gets in front of him this time. And Superman has been denied a complete sweep. The Dodge got his revenge. And now they're tied going into race number three. This is going to be interesting. I figured that if it was going to be anybody that could beat Superman, even when he's not being show-offish, it could very well be the Dodge here. They both have a first place finish here, so they are currently tied. And Superman is trying to hold on to a lead, but here comes the Dodge again. The Dodge has a tighter turn, 
and they overtake Superman even before they get to those last couple of turns. Superman's trying to catch back up, trying not to show off too much, but they end up sliding going backwards. Did Superman finish in fourth? The Dodge did break the 13 second mark, but currently does not have the fastest time. Yeah, they finished in fourth. Unbelievable! I was just getting done saying that that could be Superman's downfall, and it looks like that might very well be. Because with that last place finish, that just blows the door wide open for the Dodge to take the overall win. And that could very well happen unless the opposite of what just happened takes place where Superman finishes in first and the Dodge falls apart. But the Dodge has shown that not only are they fast, but they don't typically slip up. So far, they're keeping Superman at bay, and they finish in first, and Superman is actually knocked out of the tournament. And I guess since they figured they weren't going to move on, they would finish in a blaze of glory and flip upside down as they cross the finish. Meanwhile, the Firebird, not exactly a pleasant way to go out, finishing upside down and not even finishing the race. But it's actually the Dodge that'll be moving on, so we will not have two Superman vehicles moving on. Probably for the better overall to avoid any confusion. Congratulations to the Dodge. Thank you for watching. See you next time.